what's up, Ryan? Welcome to Trigger. Happy Havoc Dung Europa. I am so excited to finally be playing this game. I got it for, I think, Christmas from a friend of mine. Um, and I was supposed to play that, but then I was like, no, I'm going to play it for all my lovelies. So here we are now. I've already seen the anime, and I'm watching right now the, like, second, third season, I don't know what you want to fucking call it, the Spare and Future arc. So, I already know, like, half stuff's gonna happen in this game, but I still want to play for myself, because it's just, like, a lot of fun, you know? And also, I just love, like, just the world of Danganronpa in general, so I was like, fuck it, why the hell not? So, let's go! New game. Uh, language is English, could I? Uh, kind, sure. <laughs> I'm so excited. My favorite part about this game is the fucking soundtrack. I like this so much. Low key. Oh god. Okay, I was really loud. Low key, I want to get a tattoo of the Monokuma eye really badly because I love it so much. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands in the center of the entire world. I mean, Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of traditions, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope into the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. And there are two things you need to attend this school. One is you only have to be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can enroll here. The only way is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there in front of the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students... It was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. I'm never over this guy's voice. I can see I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Like... I mean... You have that hair though. Actually, even your hair is average, Jesus Christ. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I don't really have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, or even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff that I like to do, but it's not like I'm psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked what my favorite song was, my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all probably be whatever was most popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyways, I figured it'd be a good way to introduce myself right off the bat. But, you know, if... I have any kind of strong points, so to speak. I say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I still don't know what that means. I mean, look at me, I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am standing in front of anything but ordinary Hope Seek Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if anyone like me can survive in a place like this. It's, go it's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I feel this way. What you have to understand is, well, let me tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. <gasps> Those are the only invite these students who are truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic that threads online dedicated to talk about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked at some of those threads, and all I saw was talk of ultimate students who were way above your average high school. Damn. Like for one, incoming student, incoming student. Why can't I fucking read today? Oh my goodness. Ah, for example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who is also a lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. 
Oh, she's super cute, though. And then there's also the ultimate baseball star. He was a clean hitter for a national high school chance. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. <laughs> that, that, that was a bad way to put that. Then there's the ultimate fashionista, who is adorable as fuck. Like, holy shit. You can see why people like her. She really covered tons of fashion magazines so that every high school girl wants to be. Okay, I won't go that far, though. Like, let's be real. Oh, not to mention the ultimate biker gang leader, leader too. I just realized, okay, there always has to be some sort of gang leader in these, alright? You got, like, the ultimate gangster and the ultimate bike gang leader, like... Is there... Is there... There's a trend going on here. I see you, game. I've done my research. The scary thing is, he's one of the de facto leaders of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love that guy. <sighs> On top of that, the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. <sighs> Maybe that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a little tame house cat who wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I, I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students, so I couldn't find any info on about how much I look. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only without any worthwhile talents. But then what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could this be average students like me without any talent or anything? <laughs> Boy, you fucking wished. That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I don't know how much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How does such an unbelievably average student like me get picked, picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the exceptions letters at me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you've been selected and we invite you to join as the ultimate lucky student. It's all this plan day. I got invited out of pure luck. Yeah, we see the ultimate lucky student though. So therefore, like, you're lucky. There you go. There's your ultimate ability. Now we have two ultimate lucky students. Okay. I still don't understand this. I'm not going to spoil too much. But how the fuck do you have two ultimate lucky students in the same world at the same time? Like, I, I, I don't understand how this ultimate lucky thing works. But not ultimate lucky, but ultimate thing works all together. I kind of want to find out. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how the graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. I don't blame you, bruh. Then actually sitting there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. <sighs> Still, I can't sit in front of the gates forever. Frozen place, murmuring to myself. I looked down at the acceptance letter clutching in my hand. It said that there would be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. I gather up on my determination and try to act like I've done this a million times before. Took my first step toward the main hall with determination! <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, I've already just started on already. Uh, I think it's the fact that I know what's supposed to happen, I'm like, I'm not ready for this shit. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one there. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says 7, 10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8, so there's a full 15 minutes left. How the fuck do you get there that early? I can't even wake up that early, fam. Like, come on. Makes sense no one would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting exactly. Let's take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little bit. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be a problem with me having a look around. Right? It'll let me kill some time, if nothing else. Yeah. Like something stuck in my throat. Jesus Christ. Why? Why is there something stuck in my throat? Stop. Stop. Ah! Okay. Try to play cool. I took my first step in the Hope City Academy. I my first step to starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. And then shit hits the fan. Welcome to hell, boy. What the? The yes, inside took the first step forward. My view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And next moment, everything went black. Welcome to hell, boy! That's how it all began! That's my life, I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope Street Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I can experience ultimate despair. Ha 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 ha. Welcome to despair, my boy <laughs> Uh, not yet. I'm gonna keep playing. I did not have happened for me to stop yet. Mm. <sighs> because I fell in love with this game, this art style. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. 
What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk down in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This is a classroom I've never been in before. What the heck is going on? Academy. First, I'd like to explain the basic controls. These mouse buttons adjust your aim. Your aim and uh, object you can interact with. And press the left mouse button. And press the you investigate that object. You can use WSD. You can use move, or you can press all the right mouse button. Over there. I got the kind of mouse. Oh. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where the window should be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over. If I were to knock on it, yeah, definitely metal. Thick too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are the metal plates covering over the windows? Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep the weirdos from just wandering in. I'm pretty sure the weirdos are already there. Like, come on, it's this pool full of weirdos. Gee, that camera's already at 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? As a TV. The old school is... The school... Fuck what I'm saying. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it is weird to have a TV in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. And a note. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can see the line of joy must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's down on the desk? The next semester is about to start. Uh, sorry today. This will be your entire world. Whee! The orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something handwritten on it. Oh, that's what I just read. Uh, so today it's going to be the entire world. What the hell? Is this someone that kind of idea of a joke? Okay, let's see. What might have happened was, I got myself so long that I passed down the main hallway and someone carried me here? If that's true, that must mean this is a classroom sign of Hope's Peak. If that is true, that's raise more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, there's metal plates covering the windows. It's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. If it's the thing. That wasn't English. Oh. Jeez, hallway looks kind of weird too. It's getting strange by a second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. So now I'll just head to the main hall. Whoa, no, it's, I don't give a shit. Whoa. 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 Whoa! This is, this is weird. Okay, I need to head to... Where the fuck am I going in main hall, so... Main hall is this. Way? Yes. Correct mundo, my dude. By the time I got back to the main hallway, everyone was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? The new guys are all... Yeah. No. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Same for me, the ultimate students have been handpicked by the school. Can you stop moving, camera? I don't like this what so fucking ever. I looked around at everyone who's gathered there, taking in their faces one by one. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel some kind of aura coming from each one of them. Is it time for the introduction ceremony? Yes, it is. So, um, how's it going? My name is Makoto Nagi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Hmm? Whoa, you too? Mm -hmm. uh, things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange. It clearly beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right Got now. It. Just a moment, there's something else you must address. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you're aware the meme was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be your first day is unspeakable. I must report you and s you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's like you wanted to be late. You don't have any control it's over it. Right. Thanks, Junko. Oh, sorry. I don't know who all these characters are. Everyone, just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go in around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? There's no, there's no time for freaking introductions. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But it's good to at least find out who we are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way, then we can move on to something else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost. Same! <laughs> My stuff is best to focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess it's a good chance I'm gonna get, ever get. 
I looked at everyone. I looked up everyone on Host Peak Thread Online. But I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. It's hard to find out. Boy, you're for a good time. I'll start by talking to those five over there. I'm gonna start with you, Mr. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay. I still know how I feel about this guy. So this guy's Kiyotaka, according to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's known for the work he's done with the community's public morals committee. I say respects rules above all else, earning the title Ultimate Moral Compass. Anyways, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Na Naegi, right? That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And for that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. Yeah. That's a little bit. I, I still don't know how I feel. I, I kind of like him, but... Ugh. But, but he ain't, he ain't Chubei. He ain't Chubei. You all will see Chubei. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. I hate her so much. I hate her so fucking much. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literacy career. And two years ago, she reached So Lingo's the Ocean, a love story that is said to be a masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot from the top of every hottest men pole. <laughs> oh my god. Flatter Asia has countless literary prizes and her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she become known, she's come known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call it, such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type with, what, with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? What? It's not polite to stare, you know. Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought. I, I know what you just thought. You just thought you'd, ne you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just, th just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. So bother trying to lie to me. I fucking. Shut the fuck up, Togo. I swear to God, I hate you so goddamn much. Like. I have the least favorite characters, trust me, but Toko, Toko just, mmm, mmm, my dude, my boy, shut the fuck up for like five seconds, your self-esteem is worse than mine, I know it's true, otherwise, you, I know you can't stand looking at me, anyway, oh, oh, whatever, no, I don't really care, I'm used to it, I don't talk about inferiority complex. I was way off about what a su successful author would be like. I'm trying to think if there's any other like author characters that are similar to her, and I just can't. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. You're too pure, child. You're too pure. You're too pure. I'm so sorry. Which moves are positive and mesmerizing, and the pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name on the Fed Online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's a pop. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I'm surprised to find out she'd be going to school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but. Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> What were you gonna say, boy? Boy, what? What were you gonna say? I already know it, but just fucking say it. I swear to God, I hate, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Like literally, in the anime, they were just like, yeah, she went to the same high school as me. And this one, they're like, we're gonna dance around this shit. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? Um, I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have a really good intuition. She's a sharp hey, one. Um. Oh, hey, by any chance... Now uh, what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, Just did... Jeez, guys, how are you playing to waste your valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um, s sorry. Just got carried away, I you guess. You hear me? Self-introduction of introducing yourself. Not for bumble like a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sounds like Sa Sayaka really has something she wanted to say. It's not like 
we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Fair. Did I ask what that door was? Holy cow, what a huge metal hatch! Looks like the kind of thing you see in a secret military base or something. This is the main hall the same way I came in before. The door definitely wasn't here before then. Or was it? Or was it? Okay, I'm gonna talk to Leon. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Leon Kuwata. This guy seems like... I don't... I, I, I hate that. That stupid goatee. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter. As their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing, I'm just surprised. I figured you, with you being the ultimate baseball star and all that... What, well, you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article in the picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <sighs> what? Huh, man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. It's not- This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, it's like a mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championship regulation. Seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. I'm, now I'm not gonna dive back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest you know. with you? I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced and he still is a team star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah. As soon as I got accepted, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dreams for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> really, path in life is getting the music. And you can feel that superstar, uh, su that star quality aura, aura I have, right? You know what right? I mean. Right? I don't know, fam. I can't feel orange. I can't. I'm going to be a singer. All I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar. And we're all set. I feel that, fam. I, I, I feel that. Like... Being musical, but also being shit at songwriting, yeah, I feel that on a spiritual level. How cool is that? The new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like, super cool to the max! I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. I am Hifumi Yamada, but if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. Hello? Sir? Sir? That voice. Hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? Boy, let me tell ya! Let me tell ya about the world of 2D art! World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am knownly and, super and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fan mm -hmm. creator. I once sold over 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event had passed into legend. Hmm. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tamed the event. How stupid can you be? It's too bad for them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the worlds of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unapp unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier serving night and day to destroy the mindless preconception about fan fiction. Boy, you would not like the fan fiction I read then, because that is fucking garbage, and like the definition of everything that's wrong with fan fiction. I'm sure you, if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nag, you would, you would comprehend its greatness mm -hmm. immediately. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's embracing our basic urge. Oh, never mind. Do what's wrong with fan fiction? I don't think I want to comprehend it. Same. Same. <laughs> I read that, that kind of fan fiction a few times, and every time I just think to myself, please no. Stop what you're doing, child. Go away. Uh. God damn it. I've been considering, um, doing fan fiction. Uh, fan Fiction Friday, uh, or like, kind of doing uh, putting out an application for the uh, Fan Fiction Friday so I can be on that show. And I, one hand I want to, but on the other hand I'm like, I don't want to read smut. I get super like flustered and stuff, and it just never ends well for me. Okay, so now talk to those five people over there. You mean the same place we hey, were before? I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. What's up? So precious. She's so cute! She's still not true, babe, but she's adorable. I love her. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen as an up and coming as an upcoming Olympics candidate. She's without the doubt an ultimate the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um proportions have been widely discussed online, if you know what I mean. Mm. So, um what was your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Makoto Nayi. <laughs> Oh yeah, I knew something like that. 
No, not something like that. It is you that. Got it. Sure, sure, I got it. Hammer into my brain right yeah. now. Makota Nayagi, Makota Nayagi. She just keeps repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hands three times. I've never heard something like that before my entire mm. life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly how it sounds. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write okay. it down. Anyways, it's glad to meet you. Sure, same. What that learned, she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. She's adorable. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Chubei. She is Chubei. She is. I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> Anyways, I hope we can get along. Same here, it's nice to meet huh? you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet uh, you. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, good point. Sorry. Y you don't have to apologize like yeah. that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fujisaki is known as the. Oh, known for all the cutting edge programs. She's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also gets that little timid bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um, hey, so listen. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Well, what are you apologizing um, for now? Oh, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I just was lost in thought about something. Huh? Uh, lost in thought? Yeah, it has nothing to do with me being upset Thank or anything. You. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. How could anyone not like you? Chihiro, you're so adorable. My precious child. I love you so much. Her and um Nanami-chan is like my my bae's. I think that says something about myself. I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why your fans are so under. Same. No, I don't want to read about the fucking door again. Stop. I want to read about Kyoko Kirigiri. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Bang! She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere on that Hope Speak Academy thread. All I did was see. And I did see there were students like me. Was you didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? You fucking wish. Um, so what are you doing what? at the school? What's that? What's that supposed to mean? No, I meant, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something that are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell <sighs> me. No, I don't have to tell you anything. So I'm not going to. I'm thinking about her turn up online, so I'm just thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Face is like an iron mask, and she doesn't want to tell me anything. There's no point asking. <sighs> Hi, I'm Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Not really. Not really. Because you're not Chubei, so I could care less anymore. I don't care about anyone else anymore at this point. Okay, there's one more character I care about, but it's not her. Anyone would recognize this one. Junko Enoshima, she's got more charm presence than any high school girl in this country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... Some feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, you talk about my my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, like, edit a hell and back, like, with computers and junk. So they aren't real. Yeah. What can we do? Come on, don't act surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to Photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you should be, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous, by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> Woo! You make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin to make it all creme cer ceramic and porcelain. Oh, so many dreams getting crushed today. <laughs> oh, but I don't know what you expect to be honest. Also, like yeah, that's pretty true. That's pretty true. Being a diva, and all it's cracked up to be as far as I'm as far as I'm concerned. I won't know because I'm not one or plan on being one. Oh. Time for a... Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Thank. Awada, why does the name sound familiar? 
Mono Wano. Owada. Owada, what the fuck? Owada, huh? That means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect even all from every biker gang- from, Yeah, every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Hmm. Um, nice to meet Yo. you too. Hell yeah. We camp around him. One wrong word, I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Sakura! I am Sakura Okami. Jade, true babe, but she's like my fave. I love Sakura so goddamn much. She's just, ah, oh, she's so cool. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a god. Boy, that's a good way to get yourself killed. The day I say something that allows the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 mas matches and never lost a single one. The thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's a, clo a close known relative to the primate, the frame. Ah, not my Any incoming host being students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. You value your life, avoid her at all costs. No! No! She is a precious child. She is so pure and amazing, and I love her so much. She wouldn't hurt you unless you like, decided to fuck with her or her friends. Like, don't get on her bad side or she'll fuck you up. But yeah, otherwise she's pretty chill. Today in front of her now, I don't think they were extravagant hey. about that. Hey, you. Uh, y yeah? I snapped her attention without even realizing it. This is a poke and part of my body. Um, I what see. are you? Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school hmm. student. <laughs> what a shame. You're not all that fit to act as my training partner. Um, gosh, that's such a shame for me. This fuck boy. Name's Byakuya Togami. But I don't hate him as much as I hate Toka. You can't make me hate anyone more than Toka. Hi, um, nice to meet you. That's the most half assed introduction I've ever heard. Doesn't feel like there's anything I can do about it, even when the ultimate student, this one's special. Byakuya Togami, with the hair apparent of his family massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, no personal assets are, well, vast. His title, Ultimate Affluent Prodigy, is completely accurate, and he's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned from about him from that host peak thread online. Come on. We're done with instructions, right? How much longer you gonna stand there? Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. His order says to me you and I will never stay on the same level like a king in training. Boy, I will fuck you up. I will fight you 1v1, boy! I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Thank this guy. This guy. Yoshiro Hagakure, also no known as Supernova in the psychic community, the threat setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. So I can't wondering if there's any truth to it. Hmm. Okay, I give up. Oh, what happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw hmm. what? A guardian angel with, his, with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running around with a skyfish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel! <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know, you know, oh, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times and, well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet it is a long story. You're the fucking idiot. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. I don't feel like that's not her real name. I just feel like that's not her real name. I don't know. I may be thinking of someone else. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name. But if you don't mind, I prefer you call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, huh? right? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you were talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors of the third were right about her. A self styled Celestia Ludenberg, and she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love for gothic Lilia clothes, everything around her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out, all, out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting really better. 
This smells beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. And with that, all the interactions are done. But even though they're all ultimates, they all have their own individualities, sort of some, sort of um something. What? What? That made no sense. Oh, maybe I just read that fucking wrong. Okay, time to get out of business. There's no time you standing around making friends with, like a bunch of dull-eyed buffoons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was um, that about? Listen. Well, you uh, see, um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after, just after each of us got into the main hall, we lost conscious. When we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but that's just weird. That's why every one of us will get that every one of us will get knocked out like that. Piece it's of like, shit. Dang. It's like my ability to read is like slowly going down. Hmm. Ah. Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. That's not the only thing. You saw you saw all the windows in in the class where the hallway were, right? Oh, uh, bolted up. But instead of normal glass windows, there's a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. Mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got the here. Heck? What the heck? What's that? What's it doing here? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll cop some, like, you know, crime or something. Is it, like, a kidnapping? You think maybe we were grabbed? Someone grabbed us and hauled us off, and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. So I'm getting like lightheaded, and for some reason that just seemed really amusing to me. I'm not sure why. Maybe I should just stop with my life at this point. Anyways, come on, don't be like that. Cheer up. I bet it's not part of the school's orientation yeah. procedure. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna take it easy for a little bit. Let's see. Are you fucking real right now, bro? Oh, so you think they want to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Hmm. Well, that's all it is. It's not time for you me. I, mean. I was up way too last, last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice didn't totally out place, it was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. You reminds me of Jinx from League of Legends. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Well, so then, well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! hey! What? Don't take off just like... What? You're gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, I get it. This whole thing was just to see us all pumped in the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if it was real. I have some bad news for you, boy. You know? Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for uh, us next. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go around and kill them? Oh wait, that's... Dude, I was totally looking forward to that nap, too. Why'd they have to go and kill the huh? moon? Oh, wait for me. I want to go with you. <laughs> that is not then. I will see you all there. Anyway. Not that anyone cares, but I I'm going too. I went to go off to the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Um, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that, that's what's, like, totally weird. However. Maybe, but it's just... But just saying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys a little bit curious to find out what's going on here? I see. We don't move forward. We learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't really have a choice. We have to go. I said to go to the gym, right? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. And with that, that is the end of the first episode of Danganronpa. <gasps> That's a lot of reading. My voice is starting to hurt. Oh no! I'm gonna 
try not to make this episode too long. Um, but that's gonna depend, because I'm gonna kind of... Because, like, the thing is, I don't like... I don't like stopping in the middle of something. I like getting certain things done first. So hopefully this won't be too long, but there's no guarantee. I'll try at least get them under an hour, if anything. But yeah, so I'm super excited to be finally playing this game. I hope you all are looking forward to the series too, because we're going to be playing the entire fucking game. And then when I get the second one, I'm going to play the second one, and then I'm going to hopefully get the, the third one, Killing Harmony. And it's going to be great and lovely. And <sighs> I'm too invested in this series for no reason whatsoever. Anyways, so, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, recommend me games, let me know what you think of this game in the comment section below. Don't forget to stay mythical, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, my lovelies.